tragedy has been confirmed in Indonesia after the conclusion of its search for its missing submarine. Here is what we know. The Indonesian Navy submarine KRI Nanggala 402 has been found split into three pieces on the ocean floor off the coast of Bali, according to officials. The BBC reports that all of the vessel's 53 crew have been confirmed dead after the three parts were located at a depth of more than 2,700 feet. Working alongside the Indonesian vessel KRI Rigel's sonar scanning operation, the submarine was found by an underwater robot deployed by the Singaporean vessel MV Swift Rescue, according to a report by the Associated press. Hopes of a rescue had already faded after items from the wreckage were found floating up to the ocean surface and were presented by Indonesian officials at a news conference on Saturday, as reported by the Straits Times. Analyzing the likely cause of the sinking, Indonesian Navy Chief of Staff Yudo Margono said that no explosion was believed to have occurred. Instead, heavy water pressure on the vessel likely created a crack in it, according to CNN. The Straits Times notes that the KRI Nangala 402 could withstand water pressure at a depth of up to 500 meters. However, it was not capable of going any deeper. It reports that the Indonesian Navy said on Saturday that contact may have been lost with the vessel at a depth of between 600 and 700 meters, approximately 2,000 and 2,300 feet. Thoughts will now inevitably turn to the reasons behind the sinking. Navy Chief of Staff Yudo Margono said the crew were not to blame for the accident, according to Reuters. Indonesian President Joko Widodo said, All of us Indonesians express our deep sorrow over this tragedy, especially to the families of the submarine crew. Operating submarines is a dangerous business. To learn about a similar incident in Argentina three years ago, another one in India eight years ago, and a Soviet submarine sunk off Norway, keep watching. Argentine naval officials do not have all the answers yet, but have begun investigations to pin down what caused the wreck. The ARA San Juan was on its way back from a routine expedition at the southern tip of South America when it reported technical difficulties. It first reported a short circuit caused by water that had leaked through the submarine snorkel and dripped on the batteries at the nose of the ship. Shortly after, officials lost contact with the submarine. Argentine newspaper La Nación says a special investigation commission put together by the Argentinian Ministry of Defense reported that a second explosion may have occurred, triggering issues in the control systems, which then led to the vessel sinking and imploding due to high underwater pressure. According to Reuters, the wreckage was found by Ocean Infinity, a seabed exploration company hired by Argentinian officials. The wreckage was in a ravine roughly 900 meters below surface. It was carrying 44 crew members. Family members of the crew are now demanding the government begin efforts to recover the remains of the vessel. All 18 personnel, including three officers who were trapped on board a submarine that exploded and sank in India on August 14th, are feared dead. The INS Sindarakshak is a Russian-made kilo-class diesel-electric vessel with a maximum diving depth of 300 meters. The submarine runs on batteries underwater, laden with warheads that had reportedly finished charging batteries and was ready for duty. A small explosion reportedly took place in the torpedo compartment, located just above the batteries compartment. It then triggered two near-simultaneous blasts, which produced a fire that spread across the vessel and to another submarine docked nearby. The INS Sindarakshak had just returned to India in April this year, after undergoing an overhaul and refit in Russia, which was ordered after a blast killed a sailor aboard the ship while its batteries were being charged in 2010. Norway finds radiation leak on sunken Russian nuclear sub. Norwegian researchers have for the first time captured footage of a 30-year-old shipwreck. Researchers from Norway and Russia have discovered radioactive leakage from a Soviet-era submarine wreck in the Norwegian Sea. The Komsomolet sank in the ocean in 1989, taking the lives of 42 soldiers after a fire broke out. BBC News reports that a joint expedition between the two countries was conducted this month via the remotely operated vehicle Agar 6000 to monitor and collect information about radioactive contamination at the wreckage site. Researchers took several water samples from in and around a ventilation duct of the submarine, with the highest recorded level of radioactive cesium being around 100 becquerel per liter or 800,000 times higher than normal. In comparison, other areas in the Norwegian Sea have radiation levels around 0.001 becquerel per liter, according to a news release from the Institute of Marine Research. Researchers have also taken samples of seawater and organisms that now live on the shipwreck for further analysis. 
Researchers say the Soviet-era submarine wreck is 1,680 meters in the ocean. The Komsomolets sank while carrying two nuclear torpedoes with plutonium warheads. The team released a video of their expedition showing the remains of the submarine. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.